In today's lesson, we are going to look at solving exponential equations. So let's have a look at question 2.2 real quick, right? So let's start with 2.2.1. It says solve for x without using a calculator. So very important is to write, rewrite the equation x to the power of minus 3 over 4 is equals to 8. So the plan here is to make the exponent of x a 1 instead of negative 3 over 4. And that's very possible. What we do is we say minus 3 over 4 times minus minus of the reciprocal of minus of 3 over 4, which is 4 over 3. Because we know 3 quarters and 4 over 3 cancel each other. Negative and negative is positive. Right? So we can raise both sides of the equation to the power of 4 over 3. Let's raise both sides. I'm going to use green. Raise both sides, left and right, to the power of 4 over 3. Four, negative 4 over 3 negative 4 over 3 right and those two cancel out so we have x is equals to 8 to the power of negative 4 over 3 check this out therefore x is equals to we can write 8 as 2 to the power of 3 raised to the power of negative 4 over 3. And pay attention to the negative 1 over 3 in the fraction and 3. They can cancel each other out. Very straightforward. So therefore, x should be equals to 2 to the power of negative 4. And this here is 1 over 2 to the power of 4 which is equals to 1 over 16. So guys, let's do 2.2.2. Please do consider subscribing to this channel. I will post on a regular basis without failure. So let's jump straight into it. So it's important to rewrite the equation 4 to the power of x minus 2 to the power of x is equals to 2. And then I think let's take the constant to the left hand side 4 to the power of x minus 2 to the power of x minus 2. There's three terms. Uh, the objective is to write this in a standard quadratic form. Take note of the first um, term, right? Uh, this whole equation looks like a standard quadratic it's in standard quadratic form right and i'm going to show you in a moment why i say this um, let's look at the first term 4 to the power of x is equals to it can be written as 2 to the power of 2 times x which is 2 to the power of x times 2 to the power of x i think this is very fundamental laws of exponents right so in other words we can write this whole equation as a, the product of two factors. It's basically just like solving a quadratic equation. The first term can be written as 2 to the power of x plus 2 to the multiplied by 2 to the power of x because if you multiply exponents with the same base, you just add the exponents, right? And then we have to look for numbers such that when you multiply them they give you negative 2 and when you add them they give you a minus 2 so there are two possibilities positive 2 and negative 1 and positive 1 and negative 2 let's test the first set positive 2 and negative 1 to see if it satisfies the quadratic equation positive 2 negative 1 Let's use the distributive property and see if it gives us negative 2 to the power of x. Use the distributive property, 
2 to the power of x multiplied by negative 1 gives us negative 2 to the power of x and this here gives us 2 plus 2 to the power 2 times 2 to the power of x already we can see the answer isn't the middle term because it's minus 2 to the power of x positive positive 2x and that's the middle term is minus negative 2x so the first set doesn't work so let's try the second set positive 1 and negative 2 to see if it satisfies distributive property 2 2 to the power of x times negative 2 gives us negative 2 times 2 to the power of x plus 2 to the power of x Sub add and subtract like terms negative 2 to the power of x and that gives us the middle term and then finally let's see if it gives us the constant negative 2 positive 1 times negative 2 that is correct it gives us negative 2 so those are the factors so therefore 2 to the power of x plus 1 is equals to 0 or 2 to the power of x minus 2 is equals to 0 therefore 2 to the power of x is equals to negative 1 or 2 to the power of x is equals to positive 2 right um, but, but the first uh, solution is not valid because it's an exponent exponential function is positive for all x values so therefore x should be equals to posit strictly positive 1 right that is not a solution reason being reason being um, 2 to the power of x must be greater must be positive for when x is an element of all real numbers if x belongs to the set of real numbers then 2 of x should always be positive so therefore it only has one solution